Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dork and Beans here, and I decided to start playing Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and excuse my nasally voice, because I have a cold right now. <clears throat> so this uh, run through is going to be sort of blind. I uh, completed this game once, though not all the way as you can see, but yeah. I don't remember much, so this playthrough is going to be pretty much blind. I'll just, you know, whatever, I'll just delete that file. Because it's a really old file anyway. <clears throat> the television and I will use the control pad for movement just because I hate the control stick it's just the way it's positioned it kind of throws me off so anyway here we go I said, excuse me, I'm just battling a cold right now. And we start off celebrating Donkey Kong's birthday with, you guessed it, a banana shaped cake. Hmm, didn't see that coming. enemies are known as the snowmads. Much better than the tiki's I would say because I don't know there's just something about the tiki's and Donkey Kong Punch Returns that I hated. I just didn't like the tiki's. But they need to bring the Kremlings back. Although I do like the snowmads so the snowmads can stay but the Kremlings do need to come back eventually because I miss Kicking King K. Rule's ass all over the place, so. Yeah. I swear to God, this music sounds familiar. I don't know what, what it's from, but I know that music is from one of the Donkey Kong games. I don't remember which one. Over Donkey Kong Island, how low can you sink, We don't even know who you are, and you just come in here and just like, I'm taking, we're taking this land for ourselves, even though we have no clue who you are. We're just gonna come in and take our home. That's okay, cause we'll be back and take your butt, and we'll take it back. <laughs> ah, probably should have remembered to turn my light off so my bird would shut up, but I forgot. So, sorry about the bird. Busting out of a plane, and here we go. I think we can get back in the plane this way for it. Yep, for an extra life. And now let's get on with the game. I really love the lush environments here. It's just so awesome. And they actually decided to make underwater swimming more realistic this time around by having an air meter. So you can actually drown in this game, unlike past Donkey Kong Country titles. Must die. Yeah, so as you can tell, DK by himself just sucks. 
but it becomes a lot better once we get Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong. I like Dixie Kong the best simply because of her spinning ponytail. Probably not gonna come down until I can get under it, right? No! Too far. There we go. And we found our first puzzle piece of the game. <coughs> I'm not gonna be too. Um, OCD on collecting the puzzle pieces just because, you know, I'm gonna collect as many as I can, no doubt, but I'm not gonna be like OCD about it. There we go. Come on, give me the. Thank you. Second puzzle piece and checkpoint. They really, I really hope they make a sequel to this game, cause, just because this one was so awesome. Like I said, I don't remember much about it. I just remember that it was awesome. And we had Diddy Kong here. Um, most DK barrels throughout the game will, uh, will switch Kongs. And by that, I mean you have to pick it up when it's on the Kong that you want to play with. So, gosh! Normally, I would um, throw it when it's on Dixie Kong, but I think since this is the first stage, they only give you the option of playing as Diddy Kong, so. <coughs> Alright. I want to get up there. Oh, okay, that's what you do. forgot about that. Oh, no, Jesus. Alright. I want the O. There we go. What's done What I like about being underwater in this game is that you can actually attack as you have just seen. So I guess that's why they didn't, they didn't feel the need to put on guard in this game, which which I understand, but still it would have been nice to have it just for the hell of it. put a lot of details in the graphics of this game which is so awesome and I like the camera angles too even though sometimes they can throw me off there we go I love the cinematic camera angles nice. gotta get the end okay so I might be a little bit of a liar when I say I'm not OCD on collecting things but I don't necessarily have to, but like I said, if I can, I will collect as much stuff as I can along the way. <coughs> that was infinite roll, and it just cost me a hit, but oh well. Oh yeah, and uh, when you fill up your your meter in the top left corner, you can do a Kung Pao move, a Kong Pao move. It uh, it will uh, turn nearby enemies into balloons for Diddy Kong, uh, golden hearts for Dixie Kong, and I believe coins for Cranky. Of course, I'm not gonna use it now since there are hardly enemy any. 
any enemies on the screen, sorry. <coughs> Gosh. Well, I can't use it now, period, because I just lost Diddy. Thank you. Uh, don't remember how I'm supposed to get the G in the background. Fuck. Get off here. Okay. That. I did not even mean to do that. Wow. Death on the first level. Really? Oh, God. Let's just pray that this isn't an indication of things to come, folks. It probably is, but... Oh, well. I'm just happy to be making videos again. But I've been gone for so long. Is there a bonus down here? No, I don't believe there is. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to pick up... Maybe I'm supposed to pick up an enemy and throw it. Yep, that was it. There we go. And allow me to demonstrate the Kung Pao move right now. See? Red balloons. And I just lost... Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, I can do another one right off the bat, but I'm not going to. And the first level of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Freeze has been completed. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm already at 12 minutes. Oh well, screw it. I'll do. I'll do one more level. <coughs> oh God, these these levels are going to get insanely hard later on. Shut up anytime you feel like a bird. Shipwreck shore. I think this is where I can pick what Kong I wanna wanna play as. Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus! Damn it. Oh, well. Preventing you from drowning. Quite handy, I should, if I do say so myself. And you can also do an infinite spin attack underwater when you have both Kongs. So, having both Kongs in this game is a lot more essential than it was in the older Donkey Kong Country titles. It was also more essential in Donkey Kong Country Returns. You know, usually you could survive in the older titles with just one Kong. And you can still do it in this game, in these games, but it's a lot easier if you have two Kongs. Especially for the later levels. about not being a stickler for a What are you doing? Stop moving! Okay, thank you, Jesus. Wow. <coughs> Alright, guys, that'll be, the, that'll be the end of the first video of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This has been Dorkin Beans. Join me next time as we do stage 3 of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell everybody about me on YouTube.